Hey, happy New Year's Eve, Fossil Creek family. Uh, we are so excited to be in your home with you wherever you're watching today, uh, whether it's on your phone or on your television, on your laptop. Uh, maybe someone even had to show you how to do this. Regardless of how you got here, we're so glad that you did. Uh, and uh, we are excited to celebrate a great year in 2023, but also to look forward to 2024. Uh, one of the things that I see throughout the Old Testament is that God reminds us to remember Him and that He is constantly saying, don't forget the Lord your God and remember the Lord your God. And I personally am, and tend to be kind of driven and goal-oriented. And so sometimes I'm not very good at like the pausing and remembering and especially like celebrating good things that are happening uh, and celebrating God's faithfulness. And um, I'm thinking about a story in the Old Testament where Joshua and the Israelites are, uh, have just come through the Jordan River. God miraculously parted the water as the priest stepped in with the Ark of the Covenant. And God gave them some specific instructions. He said to pick up a stone on your way. And so in the middle of the river, pick up a stone from the Jordan and bring it with you. And so each of the 12 tribes picked up a stone and they carried it with them to the other side as they walked across on dry ground. And once they were all across and the priest came out of the river and it returned to flood stage, they each brought their stone and God instructed them to put their stones together and to create a memorial, something to remember the faithfulness of God. And this is what Joshua says in uh, chapter 4. Uh, it says this, it says, For the Lord your God dried up the Jordan before you until you had crossed over. The Lord your God did to the Jordan what He had done to the Red Sea when He dried it up before us until we had crossed over. And He did this so that all the peoples of the earth might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful and so that you might always fear the Lord your God. And he told them, he said, he said to the Israelites, He said, In the future when your descendants ask what, uh, their parents, what do these stones mean? Tell them that Israel uh, crossed the Jordan on dry ground. And so this, these stones were a testimony. They were stones of a testimony and a monument where they stopped. They, they stopped their journey and they paused and they took this stone and they laid it down and they're like, we will always remember what God did here. We will always remember what He did for us uh, and His faithfulness and, and the miracle that took place. And so today on the very last Sunday of 2023, before we just blaze into our New Year's resolutions and, and all of our goals and, and things like that, I want to take a moment and I want us to take some stones, like, like some metaphorical stones, and I want us to, to lay them down and just pause and, and come and reflect and remember what God has done. Are you guys good at, um, are you good at pausing and remembering, or do you uh, get so goal-oriented or so focused on the future that you kind of blow past? I think I'm, I'm good at it. Uh, well, I would like to say I'm good at it, but if, if I'm being honest, uh, I, I like to just continue to go. Um, but I think this year, one of the things that's helped me slow down and kind of just reassess has been our daughter. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a, she's been a constant reminder for me to take a step back, to evaluate the situation, to be thankful in every, every moment that, that we get with her. Um, and, and, look at, and also looking to God and saying just, we appreciate every, everything that he's brought us through through the pregnancy this past year. Uh, through all the transition and change uh, here at Foster Creek, and it's just uh, for us been a constant reminder to, to be thankful. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I think about it too, like in terms of like healthy rhythms, and I know like when my rhythms are out of balance, and I try to move past it too quick or look past into the next thing. But man, that's something to to recognize within myself. Man, it, there's some things that could be out of balance within me that that God's wanting to speak to and bring back into focus of what really matters in that moment. Yeah. For sure. What do you? What are the things for you guys this year that you will look back on 2023, just thinking back on the last year, which has been a doozy. Um, what do you look back on in the last year and go, man, God, I see how you parted that. Like, I see how you came through. I see your faithfulness and your hand at work. Um, what are, what are the, what's the stone that, you, that you're laying down to remember today? I'll say ours is our big move to Texas. Yeah. God has been super faithful. Everything was so easy transition. That's and good. so we'll just remember God's faithfulness in this move. Yeah. Like when we, when we initially stepped out in faith, mm -hmm. 
um, man, God met us in a major, major way. And so it was, uh, we're so thankful to be here and to be a part of this. And, you know, we'll always look at 2023 and go, man, God, God was faithful to us. So what about you guys? Uh, I think uh, from finding out February that we were pregnant Mm -hmm. to just honestly the the entire, this entire problem passed from Jaya was born in, in October. That nine months of, of just transition, of um, going through, just looking at what it would what be like with, with all the transition and change within the church, yeah. um, but still having that consistent community, still having people pouring into us, yeah. uh, people, people showing up, being available, loving on us, and, and that's just something that that's never going to go away. That's something that I think that we're going to consistently yeah. always remember. Yeah, like that's good. Me, it's like there's too many to count. I mean, if mm-hmm. you look at just everything that the Lord did, and there was a lot of moments where I just saw the, like, problem. Yeah. Um, but, like, hindsight, just seeing just how the Lord was faithful and how yeah. he consistently was faithful. Every little little things, big things, like with our family and, like, needing child care for our son yeah. and just how, like, that just, like, he fulfilled it, like, in yeah. an instant. Yeah. Um, awesome. And then watching the church, like, we were talking about Easter on the way here. Oh, and, yeah. like, you tell it better than I do, but... Yeah, like, we were praying big prayers over people. It's like, who who in your life can we be praying over? Yeah. Remember, we had, like, some 70 names of people that are connected to our church people. And we saw probably about a dozen of them, you know, come here and get connected to the gospel on that Easter Sunday. But I think... Even more so, the the testimony of God's faithfulness through that is throughout the course of the year. We've seen that number grow to about 20 or 30 people that we started praying for at the beginning of the year. That's awesome. That That we've seen come into Fossil Creek and we've gotten to do life and faith with them throughout the year. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. And man, it it's really easy. It's really easy to just kind of blow past those things. It's really easy to to not stop and go, man. God, you actually, like, you have been there every step of the way. And you, yeah. like, there, all of these things are things that are way beyond us and our abilities and, and what we could have conjured up in our own power and, and ability. Um, and, and God's hand was was so prevalent in, in all of our lives uh, throughout the year. And I'm sure he's been in yours as well. And uh, we're so thankful for that. What are some ways, um, what are some ways, because we tend to forget, what are some ways that we can do a better job of, of remembering and, and pausing and remembering uh, the goodness of God in our life? Uh, I think just being intentional uh, every day, just taking a journal, and writing down, reflecting in the morning what the Lord is speaking to you, but also just in the evening, uh, reflecting on the day. There, there's always something that we can find to be thankful for. That's great. Whether it was a lack of traffic or maybe <laughs> the traffic gave you an opportunity to, sit, to pray more, listen yeah. to worship, to, yeah. to kind of decompress as you're coming home. Um, there's there's ways that we can find and be intentional with to say thank you Lord for this time. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I know for me journaling is hard, so that that's yeah. a good challenge right there too. Yeah. But I've even learned too, like just kind of when you're like recapping, like getting very comfortable talking about the good things that have happened recently in our lives, mm-hmm. like this week, like the days I come home and just be able to be like, hey, I had a cool dad moment today. Like, yeah. can I just yeah. can I just tell you what it is and like having that be the primary focus before? And can I tell you what really was hard today? Like yeah. Just yeah. kind of. Even that's the focus. Yeah. I, was, I read a statistic that said that if you hear something, you retain part of it. If you write something down, which is journaling is a key to that, yeah. you retain more of it, but you retain exponentially more. Like I forget what the numbers were, but it's through the roof uh, when you teach or tell someone else. Yeah. And so I think that uh, one of the reasons that God says, uh, you know, to pass this on to your children and, and, to, and to impress this thing on them. And, and even like the, to build the memorial, it says when they ask, like tell them these things. Yeah. It's because he knows that we're less likely to forget when we're telling other people. So good. And so I think there's power in our testimony. And I think that there's power in us when we pause and see the power of God and we recognize and we give thanks for it, not to keep it to ourselves, But when people are going through things, uh, and you you hear that someone's facing a need for their child care. It's easy, at that point you can go, hey, actually last year we were facing the same thing. We took it to God and God did X, Y, Z. And I'm just trusting and believing He's going to do the same for you. When we talk to people that are looking for direction and God's will for their life, we're going to be able to say, hey, I know it may be scary and, and you may have to take a step of faith, but I promise you when you do, God meets you in the way. And so we get to we do a better job of remembering and giving thanks to God when we're testifying of His faithfulness in our own lives. And so maybe that's a challenge for, for each of us is to, is to not keep the faithfulness and our thankfulness to God in ourselves, but to tell someone 
whether it's sitting around the kitchen table with your kids and, and just testifying of God's goodness and faithfulness to them or someone you work with or uh, a friend that's going through something, uh, regardless, let's, let's tell someone about the faithfulness of God. And so this is what I want to do uh, right there in your home. Uh, I'm not going to ask you to I'm not going to ask you to like sing or stand or clap or, or pull out your tambourine or anything like that. Uh, but I, what I would like to do is I would like to transition to just a moment of worship. And as you sit right there in your living room or wherever you're watching and you begin to uh, reminisce and you begin to remember the faithfulness and thankfulness of God, can you just turn your heart toward thankfulness and, and, and worship to Him and just begin to, to tell Him, God, you have been so good to me. And just give thanks to Him for just the next few moments, and uh, then we're going to close in prayer. I'm gonna sing of the goodness of God. Yeah. And it's been such an honor to be with you today. I pray that you've taken some time just to remember and reflect and give God thanks for His faithfulness that you have seen in 2023. As we look into 2024, I just want you to know that we are praying for you. We are expectant for what God has for you. And we're so excited to see all that He is going to do. Happy New Year. We love you guys so much. Yeah, we're praying for you guys. We'll see you very soon. Happy New Year.